Today at shopdap.com, we're gonna be going over dynamic turn signals in the mirrors of a Mark 7 GTI. Okay, so today we're gonna to be replacing the mirror LED right here. This strip is gonna be replaced with these dynamic ones right here. I'll put a link to those in the description below as well as right here. And again, purchases like this or any others help support videos just like this one. Let's get into our install. Okay, so to start our install, we have to remove our mirror cap. We're going to push our mirror glass down. This allows the mirror to adjust out and then you're gonna access, there's a tab here and a tab here, which we need to release to pull the mirror cap off the front. So all we're gonna do is slide our screwdriver in there and you can kind of pop one of them first and then you have to get to the second one. They're not super easy to see. But once you get that second one popped, then it'll slide right off like that. Okay, now we have our turn signal assembly here. There are two torque screws here. They're T10s that hold it on. T10s are not super common, so you are gonna wanna make sure you have one of these before you go forward with this. Uh, they are included in our Torx bit set, uh, which I will link to in the description as well. Also something to be aware of, these screws are pretty small and if you drop them down into this housing, you may have to take off way more than you bargained for initially if you drop them in there. So just be careful and aware of that. Now that we have our screws out, there's nothing really holding this in anymore. There is a small lip here that runs along the bottom of this LED assembly that actually kind of snaps into this lower trim piece. You have to kind of uh, pull it backwards. So what what, can be done is we can pop this out with a pair of needle nose. It will allow a little bit more play here. And then we're gonna grab our bone tool here and kind of just pop this forward. This will allow the part of the mirror turn signal that actually sticks through the other side that you can see. It'll allow it to kind of pull out of that assembly itself. And then we can kind of just rotate it around here. So we can take our bone tool here. And kind of get that out of there. And then we can kind of run it along to pop it out. There we go. And we're out. And now all we have left is this electrical connector. All right, so now we're going to install our new LED assembly. As you take a look here, this is the tension kind of piece that fits in below here, the lip that kind of sits over there. It, it rises as it goes along here. So this is the highest point. So what I actually found to, to make the most sense is to kind of rotate it in, leave it unplugged so it allows you kind of the freedom to swing this side around. And so we can kind of just get that rotated in place and we can get our bone tool. It's pretty simple. Once we get that in place, all we do is put our screws in. And these screws being T10s are not going to be something that you want to go crazy tight with because you can do you can strip them out pretty easy if you start tightening. Now those are snugged up. We can plug it in. and push this back in place and pop our mirror cap on. And now we are all set. Now that we've finished the driver's side, you complete the same process for the passenger side, and then you're all set with your install. Thanks so much for watching our how to install dynamic LED turn signal mirrors on a Mark 7 GTI. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like this.